During the tabling of Budget 2022, our Finance Minister has announced that students from B40 families studying in institutes of higher learning will receive a tablet under the Peranti Siswa Keluarga Malaysia Initiative. He has also announced the e-start program which will provide 150 ringgit e-wallet credit to youth. In other news, PLUS has also announced that they will be deploying RFID with automated number plate recognition toll payment system on their highways. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started on today's episode of Ichimi. Plus, Malaysian Berhad has announced that it's deploying RFID with an automated number plate recognition toll payment system on their highways. It is said to provide the first step towards a barrierless, multi-lane, free-flow highway experience in the future. The RFID with ANPR system has already go live at Hutang Kampung Sungai Dua stretch since yesterday, which is on the 31st of October 2021. According to PLUS, the implementation will enable more highway customers to enjoy seamless, contactless and also cashless journeys. It also marks the end of its public pilot which started in July 2020. PLUS says the RFID with number plate recognition system has been enhanced to safely and seamlessly enable customers to pass through the lane without interruptions at a higher recommended lane pass-through speed which is at 30 km per hour versus smart tech at 20 km per hour. To promote the usage of energy-efficient vehicles with low carbon emission, the Malaysian government has revealed several initiatives including a full tax exemption for the purchase of electric vehicles. This was announced by our finance minister during the tabling of budget 2022. The minister said to promote the development of the local EV industry, the government proposes to provide full tax exemption for import duty, excise duty and sales tax for electric vehicles. He also announced a 100% road tax exemption for electric vehicles. On top of that, individuals can also enjoy a personal income tax relief of up to 2500 ringgit for the cost of purchase and installation, rental and higher purchase as well as a monthly subscription for electric vehicles charging facilities. With a full tax exemption, the price of electric vehicles which are mostly fully imported CBU units will be significantly cheaper. As a comparison, the new BMW iX is priced from 419,630 ringgit while the BMW iX 3M Sport is priced from 317,360 ringgit in West Malaysia. Meanwhile, in Langkawi where cars are sold without import and excise duties, the BMW iX is priced from 313,630 ringgit which is 106,000 ringgit cheaper. The BMW iX3 M Sport is going from 270,360 on the island which is 47,000 ringgit cheaper. And to promote a cashless society, our finance minister has announced the e-start program which will provide 150 ringgit e-wallet credit to youth. A total of 300 million ringgit will be allocated under budget 2022. The 150 ringgit will be credited as a one-off payment for youth age 18 and 20 years old as well as full-time students in institution of higher learning. He hopes that students will make use of the funds to buy books and other educational tools. The initiative is aimed at benefiting 2 million youth in Malaysia. And this e-wallet program is actually similar to the e-belia program that was offered this year. The e-start initiative appears to be a rehash of program e-belia that was announced during the previous budget. When it was first tabled in November 2020, the e-belia program was allocated 75 million ringgit to provide a one of 50 ringgit e-wallet credit to eligible youth. Eventually, the credit was increased to 150 ringgit with a total allocation of 300 million ringgit under the Permakasa plan. Unlike the previous E29 and E Pajana programs, the E Belia 150 ringgit is redeemable via four platforms namely BigPay, Boost, Shopee Pay and Touch and Go e-wallet. And last but not least, during the tabling of budget 2022, our finance minister has also announced that students from B40 families studying in institutes of higher learning will be able to receive a tablet under the Peranti Siswa Keluarga Malaysia initiative. This initiative is expected to benefit 600,000 students. The finance minister shared that a total of 450 million will be allocated to the program. For the budget, that's equivalent to 750 ringgit per tablet. He also added that telecommunication companies have committed to contributing 65 million ringgit to the program. The current personal income tax exemption for the purchase of smartphones, computers and also tablets have been extended to the 31st of December 2022. Individuals can enjoy tax exemption up to 2500 ringgit. All right, so that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.